Hello, welcome to Economics Malade. In this tutorial, we'll deal with different kind of string functions in Stata. String functions are very useful in cleaning the data involving string variable. Let's begin. With this main Stata interface active each time, press Ctrl 8 for activating data editor and Ctrl 9 for activating do file. Let us clear everything. Set our observations to 257 and generate number from 1 to 257 and convert these numbers into their default string characters. So these are the default string characters assigned to the respective numbers. Let us drop C and convert the numbers into their string numbers and let us convert them back to their numeric numbers or numeric format. If we specify the numeric format then this will display H for the specification. Let us try another variation. Now this is in quarterly format and this is in fixed format. Let us now deal with a species. So variable A, it has leading space, intermediate space, as well as the trailing space. So if we want to remove the leading space, then we make use of this function L trim, and if we want to remove the trailing spaces, we make use of the function R trim, and if we want to remove the intermediate spaces, then we make use of the function I trim. If we want to remove only the leading and trailing spaces, then may we make use of the function R trim, while the composition of trim and I trim will remove both the leading, trailing, and the intermediate species. Length will give the number of characters in a sentence. So we have 18 characters in the sentence and this includes the number of species and any other characters. Similarly the function reverse will reverse the sentence and the function upper will convert all the letters into uppercase. Similarly the function lower will convert all the letters into lowercase. Similarly, the proper, the function proper will capitalize the initial letters of the word in a sentence. Similarly, the function word will help us extract the desired number of words. So this is the first word, and if we want to extract the second word, we make use of this. And if we want to extract the second word, we specify two. And if we want to extract extract the third word. So we specify three. Word count will count the number of words in a sentence. Abbreviation will abbreviate a sentence into the specified given length and the, there are certain default lengths. So we have specified this sentence to be of length 9 and uh, let us see, yes we get the length 9. And if we specify the length less than 5 then the default length is 5. So let us try this once again. Let us drop C and let us also drop B and then we generate a variable B with the length 3 and let us see the different length is 5. But if the sentence contains period in it then the minimum default length increases to 8 and we have specified 12 as a length we get 12 but if we specify any number less than 8 then we get the default length to be if we have period in the sentence and then if we find the length so this is 8 another function sound x it takes the initial letter of the sentence and it assigns certain numbers so the combination of initial letter and certain numbers so this is very simple Similarly, sound x nara, this also takes the initial letter of the sentence and it also assigns certain number. This is, if the initial letter of the sentence are different, then you will have different initial letter and different numbers if the sentence are different. So another function is index node. So index node will provide the position of first unique letter in yes one not found in yes two. Let us learn this by an example so what is the position 
of the unique character in in a that does not contain ESCH so we have ESCH here ESCH here and this space it does not contain ESCH so this this should be the result so it is one two three four five six seven it should be the result see similarly let us try another variation let us replace with international and a e i n r t so what is the position of the unique character in international that does not contain any of these characters so it is t i is it o let us see this should be the result temp so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so i hope you have understood this let's see the results second so edge we don't have edge here okay so this is this is very simple and it is third so we don't have a space specified here right so a specific a space is the unique character and its position is third and in this case let us write this sentence and we have specified this underscore also so underscore is found everywhere so let us find what is the unique character okay what is its position on 13th let us say 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 we don't have g here now another function plural so let us gender the plural and we get zero. so the position also matters this is one for singular and two for plural okay so one if we specify one then it provides the default value and if we specify two that is for plural and it makes certain changes so for hero the plural is h-e-r-o-s heroes but if you think that is not the right one and if you want to add ears then two for plural one is for default it does not make any change and we add this character plus is to add and minus is to remove so let us see we get heroes and if you want to uh, remove certain portion then you need to write specify two then after minus is for deduction and we are going to deduct this from this variable a now let us go to another function a string to name it converts this string into a state on name format so we have this space by underscore and this semicolon by underscore and this comma also by underscore let us try some of other examples in our previous case the sentence it began with the letters and here it begin with the numbers so if you convert it into a string to name then the underscore is specified specified in the beginning of the numbers so if you generate another variable c if you don't specify anything and if you do specify one they are the default and if you specify zero then this will hide the underscore from the numeric if the sentence has begun with the numbers okay let us try this once again let us see what happens all these unwanted characters and space they are filled with underscore they are filled with underscore let us stop b c d and then we replace a with this sentence and in this sentence the initial letter is a number right string number so in this case if we specify one it is the default you will get some underscore but if you don't want the underscore at the beginning of the number then you can you need to specify zero so another function is string match it matches the pattern of a word or sentence 
of the string variable and this asterisk it allows for one or more than one character and this question mark it allows for only one character so what does this mean we can have any number of characters preceding g one character after g and any number of characters after this character so let us see whether this is true or false so in this sentence it is true again let us send it see so this is again true g o o d good so this is good then after we can have any number of characters preceding good so this is also true the sentence should begin with the letter yes that it can have any number of characters after that this is also true so let us drop bc and what does this say after yes we have we have two characters then after we have a space then after we have i a letter i then after any number of characters so is this true let us see this is again true because we have c yes h e c space i yes each after that any number of characters and if we specify any number of characters this is also true because it can have any number of characters this is true but if we specify jnd equals to a and then let's say it begins with yes this is fine one number of characters and then we provide certain space any number of characters this is false let's generate this this is false after yes we have only one characters so this pattern does not match the pattern that we have in the variable a so this is false another function is a string position this will give you the position of yes2 in yes1 so let us drop b c and d and let us drop b c and d and let us see what is the position of i in variable a so it's five so let us see whether it's five or not yes and position of years in a so it is first and let us drop pc and let us try what is the position of the character g o the first character g so it is eight one two three four five six seven eight this is true and do we have any character called d we don't have any character called d so this is zero so another function is sub and a string so this will be some portion of the string so let us drop b and c the length of a is 11 and we are going to extract the sub string from a that should begin from third characters and it should extract only one character the length of the sub string should be one so it is e so the third character is e that is simple let us now generate another sub string from string a so that should begin from four character and it should the length of the string should be six characters okay so it should begin from third character and it should take six characters so let us see it should start with e and that is the case let us drop c now you have understood this let me run this it should begin from the second character and the length of the string should be five characters so it should take straight five characters beginning from second characters so let us run this from so this you should take from the first character you should take all the eight characters so let us try this so what does this do minus five this indicates counting from the right to left so we count five characters from right the extreme right to left we stop at that position then we take three characters so what is that 
one two three four five minus five and we take three characters one two three so here is a space in this character there is a space as well in the beginning if you see two three there is a space another variation from the right you count you stop at the eighth character and from that character you take all the six characters we are going to make a sub string and we are going to insert the string let us see what happened in s1 uh, replace an occurrence of s2 by s3 just drop bc and let us see we are going to run this and let us see what happens so we are asking in variable a we are going to search i and we are going to replace it by m so how many occurrence of i zero occurrence means we are not going to replace this is the default you won't see any change so let us run this once again so one occurrence of i in a should be replaced by m so if you see there is the result so this is this i is replaced by m so is the case we are searching the characters and we are going to replace so up to second occurrence of of occurrence of is is should be replaced by m so so this searches this entire character not word okay so our next function is about word we search and substitute the word and let us see if there is any missing value then it substitute all occurrence of each in a by f so let us try our last function for this video now we are going to just substitute the word we are going to search the word and we are going to substitute an occurrence of the word let us drop a b and let's write the sentence and this is going to search word not character the word the entire word so each is replaced by ok so this is not character it searches for the word you see here it is t h i s each here so this is not a word so this is different word this is different from each so the only the first occurrence of each should be replaced by ok so this here it is this so this is replaced by ok let us try the next second variation and it will be more clear so we asked for three occurrence of each in a should be replaced by the word okay if we if we have missing so if we have missing number then all this in a is replaced by this this is it for this tutorial thank you very much for your time thank you very much econometrics melody